putting some fish on, baby. On a home-built bobber. Oh, oh it's a monster! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets. I just traveled all across the state uh, with my camper van to go steelhead fishing tomorrow morning. It's late at night. I'm actually parked uh, in someone's driveway right now and I don't want to like wake anyone up with lights or, you know, I kind of want to stealth camp, you know, so I've got uh, this blanket up here right now in front of my side windows in the van. So yeah, we're, we're in a camper van, as you can see. For anyone that's brand new to uh, my channel, well, this is kind of what I do. I, you know, fish and travel around in a camper van van has 12 volt power it's got canned led uh, lighting um, and pine ceilings uh, throughout the whole thing it's actually really nice then i've got a nice little countertop over here still need to build some more shelving and sliding doors i've been slacking on that and i want to build some cabinets up here just for more storage storage is super important uh, when you're out traveling with a van especially if you've got a bunch of fishing and camera stuff with you it's just you need a lot of space uh, then right behind the twin bed i've got uh, my cooler uh, one bag of ice and that guy lasts me about uh, usually about three days of camping on just a single bag of ice which is pretty good uh, my little my little emergency fishing rod just in case you pull over and have to immediately throw a lure then underneath the bed, I've actually, so the reason that the bed is so far off the ground is that I can actually slide my fishing kayak in underneath that bed all the way to the front of the van. And that's why I have this cutout right here is so that my kayak can slide in and that way there's enough room side by side. But uh, anyways, just wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm dealing with here right now. I'm going to get a little bit of shut eye and then uh, see you guys in the morning and hopefully we get on some giant steelhead. I just woke up to a bunch of snow out here. In fact, it's snowing so hard that there's like a light sensor that keeps getting tripped off by all the snow. Man, it's gonna be a cold day out here. Coffee sounds really good right now. I think we need coffee. Now let's hope no one sees the light. Don't wanna, don't wanna go detected here. Cheers to a uh, hopefully good day of fishing. Oh, sh oh crap. Oh, guys, the, the someone just knocked at the door. Who the heck is this? Oh no, we got caught, guys. What's going on, dude? Whoa, Marlin, what's happening, man? Thanks for coming. You ready to go catch some big chrome wild steelhead? Yeah, let's go fish. How was the van last night? It was good. It was, uh, well, a little cold. As yeah. we what all heck, found right? out. Yeah. It's March. It's mid March and here we are with more snow than we saw all year. I mean, you get yeah. a good visual right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well guys, um this year this means uh prime winter steelhead action. It's gonna be fun. Let's do it, man. Let's go do it, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna all jump into Marlin's Tundra because he's got four wheel drive. It snowed a bunch, but we're all set for steelhead fishing. All right, man. All right, guys, I was just joking. Of course, uh, Marlon knew that I'm crashing in his driveway. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know who this is, this is Marlon with Addicted Fishing. Uh, we've been talking for a while, wanted to get together, do some killer steelhead fishing. So for anyone that doesn't know uh, Addicted Fishing, Marlon, what do you guys do? We do all sorts of educational and entertaining and inspiring content. That's kind of like our, our motto is educate, entertain, and inspire. So if you find our channel in the link down below, we're gonna have lots of how-to videos, lots of things that are getting you out and getting you excited to get fishing. But then there's gonna be days like this where we're just going down the river and we're bringing you all along for the journey. So subscribe if you want. They've got another guy, Jordan, with really long, he's got just a lot of hair. So today I'm wearing a mustache to make up for the lack of hair on the boat. Um, and it's for you guys too. I did an Instagram post catching a catfish back in the day with like the cowboy mustache. And some people are saying, bring back the stash. So 
So it's here for the you guys. The stash is here. The stash is here, Dude, man. Dude, it might bring you luck. It, it might. Pounds steelhead. And if we don't catch anything, we'll have to shave it off on the boat. All right, let's go ahead, get on the boat, and get some fish. All right, let's see how this thing is. Oh, I see it. And now, fishing. It's out here, you know, like you can leave it right there and fish that, like that the whole time. Just, uh... Is that fixed? Like that right there? Yeah, yeah. fixed float. Like, it don't matter what the depth is, you can fish that. Set it at like yeah, two feet or something. So you watch the rod tip final. We get pretty close to the first down here. Oh, fish. fish! That's a fish. fish! Oh, he's like in front of or under the boat. Crap! Oh, he's running upstream. Yep, he's running, he's running. Oh, it's a fish on, baby! On a home built bobber! Sorry, Marlon, but I'm going too slow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know where I'm at, dude. You're kind of behind me to the left. Oh! It's a nice fish, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's go, go, stop recording. Go, go, start recording. Man, he instantly took it. I know, that was insane. <laughs> I mean, that bobber touched the water, went down right away, and it's like, wait, did I just snag up? <laughs> I thought you were Dude, I, I thought so too, man. All right. Ooh. Yeah, this fish feels really good, man. Are we gonna jump on shore to land him or? Whoa! Um, let's find out here. It would be great if he does come up here and we can try landing him in front of Marlin. All right, guys, this is probably like the strongest steelhead I've ever fought. I've only like fought four steelhead in my life. Landed two, but this is this one's a hard fighter. That's these strong native fish here, jeez. Oh! Jeez. What you doing? Ooh, look at that, we've got a, an addicted landing net there. <laughs> Are they in stock right now? Are they, Marlin? No. <laughs> They're too popular. Okay, so the idea of this is you're going to bring them right through me. Yeah. You have to do a lot of the work to get that fish to, into the net. Yeah, I'll just, uh, once he's ready here, I'll just pull him right on it. Because there's no way I'm going after him to scoop him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to bring him right on to you. I'm like right on a Here he comes. Oh. There we go. He's in. Sorry, I got the line on you there. <laughs> on Dude, the we got him. Woo! Awesome. That thing is pretty. Oh, oh it's a monster. <laughs> that's a, oh. That's a big fish, dude. Dude, that's a dude. freaking hog. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is an absolute tank. Oh, I'm on the hook. Hang on. I'm just going to cut this off. Okay. So we kind of want a ledge here, so Phil, if we can, we're in can a you, really awkward spot. Do we want to like if move you guys up there? walk up that way, it will be a little bit better. We're good. Right here, look at me. Push his head out towards me more. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a tanker. Damn. All right, we got some killers. It's a beast. The bobber that we used to catch this fish actually came from one of my subscribers, Anders. 
and I've been waiting for the right moment to use it. Tried a few times, but today it was just meant to happen. This is just the most beautiful, amazing steelhead I've ever caught, man. So Anders, thank you so much, bro. That was sick. If any of you guys want to send like homemade bobbers or any cool stuff, I'll uh, put the uh, my PO box in the video description. But uh, I think this fish is ready to go. The mustache was good luck. The mustache was good luck. Dude, heck yeah, man. All right. Send him free. All right, here go we go, buddy. Babies, buddy. Go make babies. Oh. Strong. He gone. He gone. Dude, that's freaking sick, man. <laughs> Marlon, I was wondering why you put your rod away. I was like, huh. Oh, a little bobber down there, huh? Might have been a little swirl though too, I'm not sure. Oh, oh. gosh, there's nothing we can do about that. Let's just hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, there's the float. Oh, oh no. Yeah, maybe it'll pop up somewhere. I oh, Anders, there's your float. See it? I see it, man. There's not much I can do right now. Yep, no, I'll hold go, on. Go, 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 go get it. Oh, I touched it. Oh, there it is. She's coming again. She's coming. Here we go. Yes, saved your float, Anders. I don't want to lose this float right here, man. This is like the best steelhead I've ever caught in my life. Yeah, I'll put this in my pocket. This is my lucky float, dude. This is going on my wall. Thank you, dude. Look at that little snake. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're snaking. <laughs> Slapped us in the face. Right in your cameras. Oh, yeah. See there she goes. goes. That's right. Got to wake up somehow, guys. It's either coffee, which wakes me up, but fish wake me up, too. So Marlin finally got on a fish too. It's been probably about 30 minutes since we got that last one. Beautiful little, uh, what you call that a kelp, right? That's a fish that's returning. A fish that already spawned and still so spawned. Out. Beautiful, yeah. so a beautiful wild steelhead. She spawned, did her, did her deed for the next few years runs and uh, she's on her way back down to the ocean. Right in the gut? Yep. Weird that we never catch him in the top of this, even with it being deep. Just a couple fish. I mean, not definitely not a lot. It happens like every third or fourth year. <laughs> that's oh, oh, that's a fish! Oh, that's oh. a fish! Bomber down, baby! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Jeez! Nailed it! Nailed that, dude! That was yeah, oh, that bobber went down so here. good. <laughs> yeah, that's oh! I called it. Oh! Dude, it's just, I, I, I could feel that that fish was going to bite that second. <laughs> Dude, I love those fish. Sit <laughs> Oh. Double? Let's double it, dude. Come on, I'll, I'll just keep it in the water. Yeah, you can get out. Or oh, yeah, I'll jump out. <sighs> Here we go, guys. Oh, she's going for round number two. Come on. Yeah. Jeez, there's just a chromy mess going on there right now. Oh, she's in the net, went in backwards. Sometimes they do that. Look at that worm. She just inhaled that worm. She's gonna wake up sooner or later. Ready? Oh, we're ready, man. We are ready. Okay, she's gonna shoot out of this net. Come on up, big girl. <laughs> Sick, dude. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we just, uh, in one day, doubled the amount of steelhead I've ever caught. Really? Yeah. Hey, so far, so far, man, we might even do more. <laughs> I just want to show you guys the worm that we caught this guy on. Bit of pink, a little bit of salmon color, little pearly head, or a uh, pearly tail. That's the red haze worm. That's the red haze worm. Is this one of your guys' worms? Yeah. Oh, crap. This is yeah, like an, an OG addicted worm right here. They work. You got the drone right there. It's wanting to force land because the battery's about dead. Nice. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the damn drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, go, go use the drone. I can't believe I just did that. I was looking at Sean's drone landing, seeing how epic it was. Yeah, that was epic. Good save, Sean. Or are just gonna go I'm around go on it? On the other side of it, Marlon. Oh, we'll get it. We'll get it. Got him. What the heck did you just find here, dude? I have no idea. Is that lipstick? Is it? It's toy lipstick. <laughs> 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 That's probably exactly what it is. Dude, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Yep. That's a hog, dude. Yeah. It is a giant. That's a big red thing. stop recording. Oh! Yo, that's huge. We have to land this attic. Well, we're low key freaking out here. I, I, I freaking screamed that thing when it jumped. That was, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Look at the color on that. Oh, I was a little. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. It won't stop, dude. That may be a 20. If it's not, it's gonna be close. That's, it's huge. Did you see how tall the back is on that? As soon as I feel like I can, you ready? Here she comes, here she comes. Nope, she's not ready. Here he comes. Oh no, oh. Oh! Round number. Three or four? He is so close. Man. Dude. Come on, Hog Johnson. I don't want to put a measuring tape on you. Here we go. <laughs> oh. oh. Dude, every time, like, he barely gets into the front of the net. So close. I'm going to tighten my drag a little. Mm -hmm. Oh. Tightening the drag. Just a little. Just a little. Oh! oh dude. God, that's a giant. Dude. That is a oh, giant. Oh, jeez. Oh. Nice fish, Marlin. Look at those battle scars. Look at his tail. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, he's got length and girth, Phil. Yeah, I got a tape in my pocket. Oh, my. Look at the adipose fin on that thing. Phil, you know what that reminds me of? It was that first fish me and you caught oh, way yeah, back in the totally, day. dude. Oh, he's so beautiful, too. Like, all that color on him. 35 by 16. You can't complain about that. I'm super stoked. He's got an addicted sloppy smith worm up in his mouth right now. We're gonna get some good pics of him and then send him on his way so he can go continue on his journey. Thanks for the fight, dude. Oh, you're an amazing fish. Oh, he's already ready. There he goes. Dude. Marlin just gets all excited and blows up like a little grenade. Catching a fish <laughs> like that and not getting excited should be a crime.
Oh, oh dude, she's big. Right, dude. Whoa, that's a good fish, dude. No. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>